This is Eric from Packhacker, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pioneer Commuter Zip Wallet, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So just looking at the exterior here, it does come in a number of different colorways. This is the earth colorway. It's a very earthy tone, so aptly named. Um, but it really is good for, you know, it's a commuter wallet, so it's great for, the color is great because it can kind of accept dirt and you wouldn't even know it. I haven't noticed much dirt except for when I accidentally dropped it when I was getting on my bike, and that cleared off very easily. It was kind of like that gross, dark snow, and it came off with just kind of brushing it off. Um, but this colorway is great for if you were to get it dirty, it wouldn't really show so much, but it does come in a slate, which is kind of like a silver gray color. It also comes in a navy, which if you look online, it actually looks almost like a, like really, really, really dark blue, almost like gray black. And then there is a black that has white accents. You can see the, the diamond ripstop uh, texture there and what the black has is that diamond rip shop is a like white so it's like kind of like a checkerboard almost um, but all the colorways look really nice and like this one is called earth and they all really look natural and not synthetic which is nice for um, when you're pulling it in and out of your pocket and stuff like that um, but this is a three ply nylon with a DWR finish and the DWR on their site stands for dirt and water resistance. So it kind of brushes off dirt and water, which is great for a commuter, especially if you're um, cycling or walking or you live in a place like Michigan where it snows a lot of the year or it rains and sleets and everything in between. So this will keep your gear safe in any weather. Um, as we mentioned, it does have that uh, textured diamond ripstop finish. And it isn't super noticeable from afar, like when I put it down here, you can still kind of see it. Um, but out, you know, in the real world, um, you can't really notice it unless you have really good lighting. And we have very good lighting here. Uh, we have an AquaGuard zipper here, and this is a number 5C AquaGuard zipper. And it blends in really nicely with the material. They did a great job matching the color there. And it is, has a little garage here to park. I don't know if that's because uh, maybe when, if that wasn't there, there would be like a little gap or something. But that garage is nice, so when you're, it's home, it has a nice place to park. And if there is a gap there, uh, water's not really going to get in there so easily if there wasn't this little piece of fabric. When you do have it a little more full, it can be kind of hard to like get it around the corners. Um, but that added protection from the elements is worth that to me, because this is obviously a commuter wallet. Um, the zipper pull can be kind of hard to grab onto sometimes, especially, you know, like I said, we're here in Michigan and it, every kind of weather. So if you're pulling this out in the rain or snow or something like that, it doesn't really have much to grab onto. It does have a little YKK symbol there, but that doesn't offer much to grab onto. So what I've grown accustomed to doing is if I don't have gloves on, I just use my fingernail and kind of grab under the, like there's a little lip there where the plastic is. And I kind of just grab onto that to get a good grip if it's wet because this is just hard plastic and then metal down here. So you really can't get a good grip if it's wet. That's not, you know, the biggest deal, but if you're in a rainstorm and you need to get your keys out of here or something, it's good to have a way to open quickly, grab what you need, and then close it up again so everything else doesn't get wet. Uh, something else on their site is that it is machine washable. And just looking at the materials here, um, that's completely true. I did wash it with a sponge. I didn't throw it in the washing machine because I didn't want to you know, waste uh, water doing that. But with a sponge, I got it completely wet and it dried surprisingly quickly. There are some materials on the inside that didn't dry as quickly as this exterior. Um, but water really just comes right off of this. And if you do have any dirt that gets ingrained in that diamond ripstop, it's going to come off with a little bit of soap and hardly any scrubbing. So if we're moving on to the interior here, one of my favorite things about this interior is that it kind of has three sections for uh, basically three levels of how much you care about stuff. You have this main area here that's kind of a little bit of a free-for-all, and then you've got this pocketed side part here that doesn't have a zipper or anything, but it is separated from this main area. 
And then you've got this zippered pocket here with this, uh, this is a YKK number three C zipper. So things that are most important go in the zipper pocket. And then you have the side pocket here, which is what I'd say, you know, the second most important stuff that's out of the main compartment. And then you've got the main compartment here that is just everything else. So in this main area right now, I've got a USB-A um, charging cable that can uh, charge lightning, USB-C, and I think also micro USB under here. And then to use that with, I've got this little portable charger. Uh, you could probably fit a little bit bigger one in here, but I was testing this Goal Zero Flip 12, um, and it fit nicely in here. So it doesn't take up too much room, which is what I liked about it. It kind of sits on the bottom there. So a portable charger with a smaller footprint is better here than maybe a, one that's a little bit wider. And then I've got my keys in there as well. If you have a bigger set of keys, um, it might it'll obviously take up more room, but I've got a good number of keys on there and it fits nicely. And as you could see before, I had some room to spare. Then moving on to the second most important pocket, uh, you could put cards there, cash, um, pretty much anything you can put in this pocket. It's just not closed on the top. So I've got some Pokemon cards here because those are obviously much more important than this cable, the keys, or the portable charger. Um, but, I mean, like I said, you could really put anything that you could put in this zippered pocket. It just, if you were, you know, running around or your bag was getting jumbled, things could come out of there and find their way into the main compartment. But for the most part, that didn't happen for me. I don't think it, I mean, a few times I, I tried coins in there just to see how it would fare. And some of the smaller coins did find their way out of that little pocket and made their way into the main compartment, but that's kind of to be expected. And then lastly, we have this zipper pocket here. Like I said, it's a YKK zipper, so good quality. And I just shoved as many cards in there, not even as I could, I probably could shove a few more in there just to show how much room you have in here. Like we've got a very, very ample stack of um, cards we have accumulated in there. And like I said, I think you could fit more. So there really is a lot of room in that zipper pocket. I found on some wallets, um, you don't have as much room on the interior zippered pocket if it has one. You could fit a few things in there and sometimes it's kind of cramped and it's gonna bend the corners on your cards and nobody wants that. So it's nice that you can fit so much stuff in here and that it is protected because there's not you know, a lot of padding with this, but it, it is a thicker material than a lot of wallets are. So as much as you shove in there, you know, for the most part, it's gonna, if you overstuff it, you might get some bent corners, but I did not experience that. And as I said, you know, we shoved a ton of different cards in there. But not only can you fit, you know, your everyday essentials like keys and a portable charger and stuff like that. I also put a few other of my common everyday things in there that maybe aren't most common to fit in a wallet. This is a little compact film, compact film camera that fits nicely in there. And that fit in there even when I had the very important Pokemon cards over here, and then all of my um, cards, coins, license, and stuff like that in here. And I even was able to um, fit a small pair of headphones in here once as well with the camera and everything in the side pockets. So if you like to have a camera on you at all times or something about that size, depending on the size of your camera, this is great because it offers that weather resistance to keep your camera safe, um, but you can still carry everything you need in it. Another thing I was able to stow in there was this little emulator. So anything about this size, it's gonna fit in there and you might be able to even fit a few extra things in there. Like with that, I can have my keys, that and that, and it's still gonna close and it fits and it's not overly bulky. Just slide those out. And lastly, I was often put, I wear this to commute to work, to and work and back and that fits nicely in there. So, if, you know, if you're going out and you, you know, aren't cold at the time, but you might be cold later, like the weather could change, you can fit, you know, a, a, maybe a really small pair of gloves or if you have a headband or something like that, it will fit in there. So one thing that obviously, you know, you can fit a bunch of stuff in here, but it's not really a, a wallet you want to carry in your pocket all the time. Like it does fit in my pockets. Like I was able to fit it in my jeans um, I had a pair of dress pants and they fit in there and I uh, wear a pair of sweatpants over my pants when I'm cycling in the winter. And it did fit in all those, but it is kind of bulky. So you're going to feel it when it's in your pocket, especially if you're wearing um, a pair of like tighter jeans and stuff like that. And if uh, you have 
a smaller frame or you wear like very tight jeans, it might not fit in that front pocket. So that is important to note. I normally use a minimalistic wallet and that fits just fine in my pocket and I don't really notice it. But this is so large that I do feel it. And if you don't like feeling things in your pocket, that is something to note. But obviously, like I said, I normally use a minimalistic wallet. It doesn't have material like this. So if I get caught in a snowstorm like I did the other day, when I got home, normally with my minimalistic wallet, my wallet's wet and it's gotten my cash wet. And like, it's okay if your cards and stuff get wet, but taking everything out of your wallet to dry it is not fun, especially if you need to get up and go somewhere after it gets wet. But with this wallet, I didn't have to do that. Everything on the interior stayed dry every single time I used it. And that was um, being caught in two snowstorms, like a rainy kind of sleety mix once. Um, and then just general you know, wear and tear and everything always stayed dry. And I did run water over it too. And it stayed dry during that. I didn't submerge it because obviously this isn't a submergible wallet but it really does keep water out. So it's kind of a trade off. It's, you feel it in your pocket, it is big and hefty. It feels more at home inside of you know, a day pack or a sling or something like that. But if you do need to keep it in your pocket, you can, but you're going to feel it. But when it comes to weather resistance, it has it and it's going to get the job done. So there you have it, the Pioneer Commuter Zip Wallet. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.